Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be talking about military grappling. Now, a lot of people would say, don't go to the ground no matter what, but sometimes things will not go as planned and you have to find yourself in situations where you don't want to be and that's where the real challenge is and that's where you learn how to manage, you know, constant pressure, shifting tides to the things where you don't want them to go but you have to take control and that's the whole purpose of randori it's a situation that's not going in your favor and at the same time you have to manage and control and be really calm under pressure and then slowly through strategy and a calm mind shifting it to your benefit so first you see here it's it's a beautiful thing to see. It's they're doing Newaza Randori. They're all in great shape. If you notice, I'm sure it's a lot of cardio. And notice the quality of the ground. It's not uh, on the mats, and it's very much like the real uh, world outside. And it's very important because it gives you a taste of reality, but at the same time, you're still in a very safe environment, uh, training uh, with your uh, teammates and. Uh, I'm sure the rules are much different than the uh, the mats. There's shoes. There is, uh, I think, when you lose, uh, you get attacked again by someone. Here, for example, you see someone being caught in a guillotine. And the moment they tap out and get released, they get attacked again. I think they have some type of a game rule that uh, when you lose, you suffer the consequences even more. So uh, here he gets uh, choked again. So what uh, the technique that he was caught in, uh, it's rarely done in judo. Usually you see it a lot in jiu-jitsu, but it doesn't mean that it's not uh, present in judo. Here you see it, uh, hadaka jime or naked strangle. Uh, you see it here. You can also use it as a pin, this type of position. Now this next one, a lot of people would immediately, you know, cry out that it won't work but this is not a knife defense he is the one with the knife and he's simply using the gap of the uh, grab in order to liberate himself and that's very fundamental and it works when it comes to liberating your hands or your throat from someone grabbing it so here you see he is exploiting that gap in the grip where the weakest part of it is and just dropping his elbow, letting go, and from there he attacks, but also not only attacks with his knife, but with a throw. And you will see here that after the stab drill, he can transition into a O Soto Gari. And notice how he uh, remains grabbing at the arm, and from there he is in control. He still has the knife, and also, military clothing a lot of you notice that it's hard to slice through it just a regular jacket it's hard to uh, slice through it you can only thrust so again here if he attempts to do anything the other guy grabs his knife he has his military gear which makes it very hard to cut open so uh, or sotogari a lot of you know what it is it's one of the first techniques that you learn but one of the last to master for some reason um, it's a devastating technique for sure even on the mats if your head bounces off the mats it hurts and your head will ring i've had this uh, experience in the past and it's not uh, pretty but this just shows how effective it is regardless of all the rules that you put on judo the throws will always be devastating and this one is I would argue it, it can be the most dangerous throw there is and when done correctly the timing and also how you shift their weight around on that one leg before you reap it it's incredible so oh sotogari jiu-jitsu guys know it wrestlers know it judokas know it so uh, but not many have mastered it and for a very good reason so as you see the big clipping on leg, you sweep upward. In the past, it was called mata harai or uh, sai, thigh sweep, I'm sorry. And 
Here, now this next one is my favorite. It's a drill where someone ambushes you and then you get to the ground with them and from there you have to grapple your way out while keeping that weapon at bay and also in your possession and also be mindful of the barrel of the gun and from there you have to gain a dominant position and also be able to uh, finish them off. You have your arm locks, your uh, strangles and pins, but of course in this particular uh, context you would, you would know that the uh, shooting the gun is uh, important and he shot him in the head or they simulated this. So this is uh, Hekikomi Gaishi. So you pull in uh, as if you know, you're pulling them towards you and then with your shins, you steer them off to the side, getting on top of them. This is also known as a butterfly sweep. And it's one of the most effective uh, round So this is not also as you get to the ground. You get to the ground and then from there you get into a dominant position you take out a small weapon but in that case was the rifle here you see it's a knife and then you use it to win the battle it's not just the arm locks and the strangles but here in this military context the weapon will win the battle instantly so like i said a lot of people say never go to the ground even gracie uh, instructors will tell you this but they also know that when it's time you find yourself in these positions, you have to know what you're doing. And that's why ground grappling is important, but it's not the priority. It should be a very good skill to have in case you find yourself in these uh, situations. And personally, when it comes to rule sets, and I know rule sets create expressions, this is why I personally... I prefer the judo rule set over the jujitsu rule set because it forces you to be strong on your feet, strong with your gripping, with your distancing. And then if things go south, literally, it's when you should have the superior skill in the ground or on the ground in order to win. And that's what happens in judo. You have rules around the gripping to make it far more dynamic not to restrict it but to make it more dynamic and to give you this do or die mentality which i really appreciate that's what my criticism for kosen judo was and also when things do not go as planned and you find yourself on the ground with your partner you can have the upper hand with superior ground grappling and that's um, in my opinion why ground ground grappling is for not just for competition but also in self-defense so if you have anything to add, please let me know down below. Consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content. This was Shady, and thank you for listening.